Good morning. Actually, good afternoon. Uh, I'm, uh, I've been at this location near Barnton, and it's not a bad place. It's not bad, but I feel like I'm not a fan of the trees, like the green tunnel effect. So I'm going to scout ahead. There's a two-week morning further on. Um, I want to go and scout out and see what it's like. I could take the road, but I'm going to see if there's a cross-country route. Seeing as it's dry and we've had no rain for days and so on, I'm going to try the cross-country style and see if I can uh, do it. And let's go. There was a guy I had a chat with a couple of hundred yards further on down here on the 48 hour moorings uh, really nice guy called Barry uh, had a bit of a laugh with him and uh, I wonder if he's still because he's moving on is he still there yes he is there's his boat up ahead There's a gang of working chaps up ahead. I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'm looking for a road called uh, Tunnel Road. Do you know, I think I've already gone wrong. Oh, there it is. No, there it is. Up ahead. Right. So I need to cross over here. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Every time it stops in one direction, it starts coming from the other. Right, OK. Let's go. No, not quite. No, still not. Right, finally. From behind, that's good. Well, the way to the place I'm more in, I'm going to check out. The canal goes through a tunnel here, so I can't sort of follow it. I've got to go overland. It's a bit of a Boy Scout type mission, this one, because I think there might be a fence to lift the bike over, so it might get a bit, a little bit cross country, a little bit rutty, rutted. Uh, but uh, it'll be interesting. Okay. So, straight ahead, I think, is the route. Yep. So, right. There are ruts already, but that's quite doable. Hi mate, uh, can I squeeze past this side mate? Nice one. There we go. Cheers love. Thank you. <laughs> no, thanks mate. Hello fellas, what's going on? Yeah, thanks mate. Right. Well, uh, Bit of a strange crew, having a little chin wag. Uh, but she did move out of the way, so that's no good of her. So I'm now gonna uh, get the bike moving. Uh, uh, it's uphill, probably not showing. <laughs> that was a bit of a. Now, it's quite good. It's quite a good little path. Looking at the map. Uh, earlier on this literally follows almost the rule the route of the canal itself through the hill underneath so it's quite straight and it's a short one as well so we're going back down the hill uh, and we have as I suspected a gate so 
I think we can go round. Can we get the bike around? Yes, we can. It forces you to dismount, but you don't have to lift. So that's very welcome. You can't get your bike through. And uh, according to the, the map here, the, uh, the moorings I'm looking for are pretty much dead ahead. So, this is a little lane, so watch out. And there's a road and a village off up in that direction. Well, I say village, it's Barnton, isn't it? It's a small, feels more like a small town, Barnton. Anyway, uh, don't know what we're going to do if a car comes the other way because, uh, I mean, not, I can't, it's not, you know, you can't squeeze past here. Nothing can squeeze, I mean, bikes are past each other, but that is it. Uh, so, down the hill. Anyway, it's a short stretch, so it hardly matters. And we should be arriving at the place where the canal comes out of the hill. And I can see it. Tunnel entrance just there. And there's someone on the 48 hour mornings. Sorry, someone on the two week morning. So that's actually quite good. Because uh, always nice to have a boat within screaming distance. So you see, this is the place. Great stuff. We got boats. So, slight sort of downside, very slight, is that the available space, the best space, is taken up by the boat with the woman sunbathing in the, in the bow. The others are a bit of the green tunnel type thing. Perhaps this one at the end here? Is this one? Are there any rings? No rings here. So, yeah. I'm in two minds. I might move in the next day or two, but that boat is in the best spot. So the shops, I think, are up here. Hiya. Hello. Right. These guys up here are from the boats, I think. Excuse, lads. Nice one, thanks. I think they might be a crew of one of the narrowboats and uh, I'm sure they're fine, you know. But, uh, I don't know, they, they're probably a bit lively, aren't they, of a night and stuff, so I wouldn't want to be more than too close. Uh, you know, they're only youngsters, good on them, sort of thing, but, you know, I wouldn't more really close to them. Right, there's a steep hill up ahead. And by the way, that's the entrance to Saltersford Tunnel. So this is what I mean when I say the moorings are between the two tunnels uh, back there is the exit of the Barnton Tunnel and you come all the way up here past the moorings and uh, you go in there which is the Saltersford Tunnel. So I'm glad I took the trouble to check this out because I'm not totally convinced that a move at this point is the best idea because uh, I want that spot that the boat's already in with the woman sunbathing. Uh, this is a better than that, can you? I mean, it hasn't rained, right? I don't think it's rained for a week. Worth mentioning, anyway. So it's as dry as it's ever going to be, really. Pretty much as dry as it's ever going to be. And there's still a nasty patch of mud to get yourself through. Now, best way, for me, the best way, no, do you know what? Uh, there's no, there's no, I'm trying to avoid my shoes getting in the mud basically and it's not happening. I'm going to have to 
Ugh. Looks like there's some shiny liquid, like this petrol or diesel or something on the surface. I wonder if that's even. There's a bit of an unpleasant odour. It could potentially even be a sewage outfall. So, whatever it is, I, I'm not coming back this way. I just don't fancy that. Right. So, let's get this show on the road. So, I'll go back. Not the way I came. I'll go back this way. I would like to spend a couple of days here. I think this would be quite nice. It would be a quite nice location. Now, this isn't very welcome. I've got to carry the bloody bike. Oh, it's only a few. I can do that. I'm going to carry the bike up uh, those steps. So this is uh, very pleasant, I've got to say. This is the kind of weather where, you know, shopping on a bike is a pleasure, really. Especially on an e-bike. Absolute pleasure. So... I'm looking for a left turn at the pharmacy. Right, there's a pharmacy up ahead, so let's signal. Right, looks good today. Yeah, must have been just a one-off, obviously. Ow. So the way back down to the main road, I think is this way. This is the way I came, isn't it? I think. So you know, there's a clicking noise. I've got to find out what this clicking noise is. It's getting on my nerves. And obviously the worry is it might be something significant. I don't want to twiddle the wheels though, now that they're full of bloody mud. Right, and uh, the other thing about this is this is a one-way street. So, if anything appears the other way, I'm going to feel slightly naughty, really. I've got to find out what that clicking is. I think that's my number one mission when I get back. Oh, there's a barber's there as well, look. There's a barber's there. And he's got no cure. Right. It's, I'm, I'm well overdue, I think, a cut. Uh, yeah. I've noticed the last few days uh, things have been really distressingly unkempt in the hair department um, and uh, I think for once it's not the hair's fault it's just it's gotten too long so, or whatever too thick so uh, yeah we'll uh, Definitely pop in there, I think. Right, so I'm going quite slow here because I'm pulling over on the right. Here's the canal. Here we go. So here's where I'm getting on. I think I can cycle. I'm just going to go slow. Yeah, there we go. So there's a lady uh, up ahead. Is that a lady? I can't tell. 
Yeah. So me, uh, Barry and his boat are still there. So I could. Is this a woman's boat? Are there rings? There's ring. There's a ring there. There's a ring there. But it's right on the bend. Cheers, love. Thank you. So these are Falls GA Tower. I'm just looking to see if there's rings because I'm liking the look of these. It's not as overlooked. It's a low hedge. I'm not seeing rings. If I'm going to move and the speed some boats go past here, I'm not, I'm not going to have pins even for a couple of days. I'm a lazy bugger, I know. <laughs> 